Yeah. It's my dilemma. Stop looking at what you ain't got. Hey. What is up? My name is Kiana, and if you're new to this channel, this is a good video to watch actually because you're I'm weird. And in this video, you're gonna find out who I am as a person because I'm pretty certain only my friends that watch this know who I am, but like people that don't know me. You'll find Today's out. Today's video is gonna be a QA. and a I ran a poll on Instagram. So yeah, since Q&A won, I chose to do a video on this. And if you guys want to be in any of my upcoming Q&A videos, then don't forget to follow my Instagram. Basically, let's dive right into this video. Yeah, that's all I need to say, honestly. I'm such a ranter, and you'll figure that out when I answer these questions. Basically, I have... Where is that though? Why is it? So I have like a bunch of questions in my notes, and I'm gonna answer them because I actually got questions, and I'm so happy because like I didn't think anyone would actually answer me. Or like even vote on my poll, honestly. But people did, so shout out to you guys. And yeah, let's just get into this video. Let's get it. My hair is a mess because I just showered and I was like, let me just be natural and right. ready. And so the first question is, what's your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is a Libra. So that's like the scale one basically where I need balance in my life, which is actually relatable. And I actually believe that part of my horoscope or my zodiac because yeah that's true for me so number two the second question is darkest fear this isn't really a f darkest fear or like a dark fear dark fear whatever but i'm scared of cats <laughs> and a lot of my friends know that because whenever i go out in public and i see a cat i'm like oh my gosh or if you have a cat and you want me to go over to your house i get nervous but i end up being okay because i slept over people's houses that had cats and I'm alive. I'm still here. I just, I don't know why I'm scared of them. I just think they're creepy. But like, they never did anything bad to me before. That's just me. Like, I'm just scared of them. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, judge me all you want. I don't really care. <laughs> okay, number three. Three, three, three. This is the third question. Okay. What was your favorite and least favorite year of high school and why? Oh, this is a different question. This is a deep question. Actually, I got a lot of high school questions. So, yeah. Stay tuned for those. Okay, anyways. My favorite year of high school had to be either junior year or senior year. I'm thinking it's junior year actually because I made a lot of friends in junior year and like I made a lot of memories. It was really good. I didn't expect that because since there was academies at my high school, the seniors were in your classes too when you were a junior and it was kind of scary at first but then you would get used to it and I actually ended up being close friends with the seniors in my junior year and to this day I'm actually still close to them which I'm really grateful for because I'm younger and I don't know I'm just like wow you still want to be my friend ah, oh my gosh I don't know yeah it's a good feeling my least favorite year of high school though had to be freshman year freshman year I was just dumb and immature and I've grown a lot from that person I was like a couple years ago and I'm glad I did but yeah freshman year I had a lot of drama and yeah it just wasn't a good year it was my least favorite basically number four do you have any items or clothes that you personalize and if so how did you make them no I'm lame <laughs> and I don't make my own clothes I just buy clothes that are made for me if that makes sense I honestly wish though that I had my own like fashion company or whatever that's honestly a goal i should like make a bucket list video or something and upload it and tell you guys my aspirations and all that good stuff but yeah i don't own anything that i made basically yeah i never personalized any items or clothes i wish i did that would be super dope that's cool that's so cool oh my gosh but yeah no i don't i'm lame and i'm boring and i'm not creative so i can't do that <laughs> Number five, 
The fifth question is, what do you do to take care of your skin? Ooh, this is a good question, even though I, I don't do anything, actually. Oh, so thankful, actually. It's super clear most of the time. Like, I get pimples, but then it goes away by itself. I don't know how. I think I just got the good genes. I'm super happy I did, though. I'm glad. But if this helps in any way, I drink a lot of water. Like, if you go out with me to, like, a restaurant or, like, eat somewhere or whatever, then I drink a lot of water. Like, I always get refills, and the waitress or, like, the waiter always comes to my table because my glass of water is empty, and I just always need a refill. I swear, I get, like, three refills or more, actually, but around three. Bitch, if you want a burger, eat a burger. Bitch, if you want a fair fry, eat a fair fry. Every time I go out, Maybe that's why. I guess the key to having clear skin is to stay hydrated. Yeah, that's what I have to say because I don't use like skincare products, which I want to, but like I don't know which brands are good and all that stuff that's so complicated in my head. I don't know if it's complicated to anyone else, but it is to me. So yeah. So the sixth question is, do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. I've been single my whole life and I'm totally okay with that. And the seventh question pretty much leads to the, from the sixth question. When was your first kiss? I didn't even have my first kiss. And I went 17 years old. Okay, that is so good. No, honestly, yeah. I'm waiting. Like, I don't think there needs to be any rush into going into a relationship. Especially if it's not, like, the right timing for you and all that. Because I'm just trying to find myself still. And I don't really need another person along in my life yet i don't know if that makes sense but yeah okay the eighth question is when's your birthday my birthday is october 20th ninth question i'm not even doing the right fingers but yeah ninth question is worst boyfriend experience i never had an experience with any guy so i don't have a worst boyfriend experience but if i do later along the line if i actually meet someone that likes me <laughs> then i'll tell you guys I'll let you guys know what's up. Tenth question, favorite TV show? Ooh, I used to be obsessed with all the Netflix shows, but I haven't had the time recently to like watch them or like patience really to like just sit down. I usually sleep, so <laughs> now nah, I'm always out too. But anyways, like my, fa my favorite show is forever gonna be One Tree Hill because that show is just so good and I'm really sad they took it off of Netflix. Like Netflix, why you gotta do it like that? Now I don't even watch Netflix because of that. Or, actually, my other favorite shows are like The Fosters, but it just got canceled, which sucks. Which really sucks. But, I'm waiting for the new season to come on Netflix. So, Netflix, what you doing again? I also like Riverdale <laughs> and Pretty Little Liars, but Pretty Little Liars ended. I'm also watching Heart of Dixie. Like, I haven't watched it in a while, but like, I'm still watching it. Just, I haven't watched it in a while. Yeah, okay, I love myself, yes. <laughs> And my hair is like natural today. Like I literally just took a shower before I started filming and this is it. This is why I straighten it, but whatever. I'm just embracing it. Anyways, the 11th question, I don't have enough fingers for that. 11th question is favorite store. My favorite store is Forever 21, American Eagle, PacSun, Hollister, um zoomies yeah i'm pretty sure those are all of it i have a lot of favorite stores now that i realize oh i actually like ross too and tj maxx because they have good deals like the prices are good and you can actually find brand names which is bomb like oh my gosh i'm here to save money even though i buy things that i don't need hey, that makes total sense okay <laughs> okay 12th question <laughs> is Favorite Starbucks drink? My favorite Starbucks drink? Okay, I don't think you guys know this, but I don't even like coffee, so I don't drink coffee or tea, actually. Well, tea, I never gave it a chance, but, you know, I will maybe in life. I have a long way ahead of me. My favorite Starbucks drink is a vanilla bean frappuccino and with whipped cream because whipped cream, of course, I love me some vanilla and that whipped cream. Like, yes, yes. I love milk. I don't know if I never said that on my channel, but yeah, I love milk too. <laughs> or I like the other Starbucks drink, basic, but which is like the strawberry smoothie. 
which is just a smoothie but you know your girl loves smoothies i never said that before but like if you watch my snapchat story i think i always post about smoothies oh i just got a text about my phone's not dry <laughs> okay anyways the 13th question is Riverdale or Friends? Oh, Riverdale all the way, but Friends, it's funny whenever I watch it, I just haven't watched like the complete series or like I never was up to date with that. I would just watch it when it's on TV, but I know it's on Netflix, so maybe I should give it a try because I heard it's a good show. Like I think my mom watched it because it was like around her time in the day, like live on TV kind of thing. Yeah, if that makes sense, I don't know. But, 14th question is, how much do you love YouTube? I love it so much, honestly. Like, I find it so fun. And, yeah, it's just so fun. Like, I genuinely like editing. I stay up late just to do it. And it makes me feel good. Like, I feel like I'm being myself and, like, it's an outlet for me to talk. Because I like to talk. And sometimes I don't like being on my phone, so I'd rather just, like, talk to you guys. And yeah there's just like so much you can do like i've been having so much fun with it and thank you guys for supporting me it makes me so happy oh and i forgot to say that i reached 300 subscribers like the other day and i'm so happy so thank you so much i am grateful and i appreciate you guys and all of that and yeah thank you for watching my videos honestly i didn't think anyone would besides my friends or like people that i know so people that don't know me and are still here and watching me, like, thank you. Like, I appreciate you. Like, I hella appreciate you guys. But yeah, I really love YouTube and I'm just going to continue doing it because you got to do what you love, right? That was corny, but it's the truth. Yeah. And plus, you only live once. YOLO! Me being corny again. Love it. Cheesy. I'm so cheesy, but it's okay. Fifteen question is, if you could redo your entire life, all over again what would you fix oh my god this went so deep it's a deep question i don't know what to say but i'll think about it okay hmm <laughs> let's think what would i do if i could fix my life well if you could redo your entire life all over again and what would you fix oh honestly i feel like even through all the mistakes and the trials we go through in life it shapes you into the person that you are or like you're meant to be or you're growing up to be basically so i wouldn't change who i am but i know looking back at some of the choices that i made i wish i didn't do certain things like i wish i didn't get involved in certain things because it just got me into drama and trouble and all of that but i wouldn't like wish it didn't happen you're kind of like oh why am i going through this and all of that but when you look back at it you learn things from it so yeah you live and you learn so that's my answer i don't know if it answered the question good but yeah okay 16th question is what did you struggle with the most while in high school oh high school questions again let's get it okay high school uh what did i struggle mostly with honestly drama and yeah that's what i struggled most with i mean i didn't struggle like being in it but i always ended up being a part of it even if i wasn't the one that was having it to begin with yeah i struggled with that like i went through it a lot but it's okay because everyone goes through drama and yeah just you know it's a part of high school high school taught me a lot and i'm so glad to be out of there oh thank god so, so, so. so the 17th question is what was your favorite and memorable moment in school not just high school but anywhere between preschool and senior year well that's hard whenever someone asks me about like what's my favorite thing like in general kind of thing about anything that sounded so weird the way i worded it but anyways in school though oh okay i don't know i'm guessing like the school events i should say or like spirit week that's really fun because you get to dress up and pretty much that's yourself i mean i'm always myself but like you can see everyone like being their self like there's themes for every day but you can choose like how you want to dress and 
how you see that theme in your eyes basically yeah i think spirit week is my favorite memory in school even though that was a part of high school but it was also part of middle school too okay so the 18th question is what would you describe your style how to dress cute and comfy oh this question is cute um what would i what would i describe my style as uh i guess like casual but i'm kind of basic the way i dress i don't know like it's just i like wearing like solid colors even though well this is a solid color but usually not patterns but if it's a cute pattern oh my phone isn't dry again let's get it <laughs> okay but i like choosing colors that are like match my skin tone and i remember back when like i was in high school even though that was like a month ago in high school i would always like look at the weather to see if i wanted to wear this or not because there's ac there was ac in the classroom so i was like i'm gonna be cold so i always wear a jacket no matter what like i just had to because i always get cold i get cold easily and yeah so my style i guess it's comfortable and simple yeah I, i'd say simple and casual comfortable all that and how to dress cute and comfortable comfy 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 is such a cute word um how do i dress cute and comfy honestly i just put a sweat and a hoodie on and call it a day and be like i'm in my natural appetite what's good yeah basically 19th question is um favorite song at the moment oh favorite song favorite song my favorite song besides meant to be because everyone knows that's my favorite song my favorite song has to be Daydream by Tori Kelly I'm gonna play it right now the beat it just hits my soul hold on to anything just so you don't cry fought off the empty lies that once ruled your path Alright, so yeah, that was my favorite song. I was low-key, low-key being extra, but that's okay, right? Myself. Be yourself, guys. Like, honestly, it's the best feeling ever. Like, when you're carefree, don't care about what anyone thinks. Just do you and yeah just do you just do you fam okay i don't remember what number question this is but the next question is what's your favorite movie oh okay i know this i actually know what my favorite movie is okay my favorite movie is the parent trap that movie is just so good like i loved it ever since it came on disney channel <sighs> yes like yes but i actually thought that lindsay lohan had a twin but she doesn't it's just cool like editing effects and all that camera technology stuff i love like editing though and i'm gonna learn how to make myself a twin that's so cool man man what if i had a twin oh! <laughs> mind blown hashtag hashtag mind blown hashtag i wish hashtag kiana's twin where you at okay i need to stop but yeah next question is Oh, about high school again. Okay, I got this. What's one thing you're going to miss the most about high school? Hmm. Oh, wait, I know this. I'm going to miss seeing my friends like every day because now I notice that we're all busy and our schedules don't always line up. Oh, next question is any regrets? If so, what are they? Oh, I think I'm going to go back to the school topic because my regret is that I wish I did better throughout high school as in my grades because colleges actually really do look at that since freshman year i mean i got cum laude which is a 3.0 like since freshman year to senior year which i'm pretty proud of but i could have done better and i wish i just was more focused and yeah i just wish i put school as like a priority in my life when i didn't really but now i realize that and i'm gonna take that into college you know what's up so the last and final question is what kind of person do you aspire to be oh this is a really good question like i feel like this is super meaningful and i need to answer this well i'm gonna try 
person that I aspire to be is someone that's just like kind-hearted and genuinely generous to everyone like I'm just trying to spread positivity and kindness you know because like this world everything happens every day there's always something that happens and it's not always positive so I just want to be like a person that's always there for someone and I actually mean when I say and if any of you guys ever need anyone to talk to like venting and all of that I'm always here for you and I'll keep what you say to me like I won't tell anyone because it's not my place to tell plus like I wouldn't want anyone telling what I said to someone if I'm venting because I went to you not the other people you know so yeah I aspire to be someone who is successful also and humble and kind-hearted basically yeah that's why I aspire to be Woo. so that is all I have for you guys and thank you so much for voting in my poll on Instagram and asking me all these questions I didn't even think anyone was gonna ask me but I'm super glad that you guys did because I think you guys know me a little better now because I made this video and answered your guys' questions so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Woo.